so good evening friends we will start a very interesting lecture over the geological data okay so if you want to download a geological data for anywhere in the world from where you will going to download okay so that we will try to understand first and then we will also discuss about a uh, location from where we will get a geological data okay so let's start with that so we will discuss about two portals one is you can say world geological map of usgs from where you can download a data for anywhere in the world so you can download a data for afghanistan african continent arabian peninsula arctic you see lot of data sets which will be there which you use for your purpose and analysis okay so you can see here if i want to download suppose the indian subcontinent data i can simply download the shape files from here so if i click on this okay so the data will start download and it is downloadable will actually finish so if i go in the metadata so you can see some metadata informations also you can find oh sorry not metadata sorry here in uh, enter publications so where this data is actually published what are the details about this data sets so those all things also you can use from uh, this particular uh, sites okay so you can you can download those particular data sets from here okay so see this is the files for there it will explain you all the geological informations which is required to understand the interpretations okay during you are opening uh, these data sets okay so that that uh, it will help you for the interpretations of your codes whenever we are opening it in arcgis pro so let's see how we'll process this data in arcgis pro so for this i whatever data i downloaded it okay so that i already kept it over here as uh, sorry not this okay that is usgs data you just see i already downloaded it and i will extract it here there is another sites from where you can download the specifically the indian data so citizen from india i will suggest you can download the data sets from this particular region okay so you just see here i can able to download this particular data sets from here so for this you require the login id so i am not going to use the login id so over this data which i already downloaded so that i will going to show you so this vukos data sets also i have with me so that is this is the vukos data sets okay so you can use the both the data sets now let's start the demo okay so here we have uh the arcgis pro so how we'll going to open that map data sets of usgs so simply click on data okay and under this you have options go to the usgs okay so simply you just see i am just going to the usgs data and i am simply opening this particular data which is the full for the full india and subcontinents which will be there now within this you just see here this is coming in a single file but if you see if you right click on this and open attribute table okay so you can able to see the different geological data with the different geological codes which is coming uh, which i already showed you over here how it is coming with the different codes which is a different name so now my objective is to put a different color over different geological pattern so here we have options suppose i select it i go to the feature layer i click on a symbology which is already open and under this single symbols i will click on this unique values so once i will click on the unique values still my maps in color showing in a single color so what is the things which you have to do that is you have to select a proper field so if i go in a field i will select it about the geology so once i select it see i can able to see the full indian maps okay and subcontinent also with a different geological pattern with a different geological color okay so now why not we will going to extract the informations only for the india so for this i am going to use a indian boundary map which we will going to use it to extract this informations so i have one indian date map so that i'm just going to add that is all the state maps which we have here 
so if you want to make it a hollow so you can make it a hollow you can click on this if you want to change the color property so from here you can change the color property outline color you can change you can apply so that you can see it very nicely now how will extract this information so simply I will go to that particular location suppose where I will go so I will go to the analysis and I will click over the toolbox okay so from here I will type like clip option okay so if I simply click on the clip so now uh, what the data sets I need to give so I need to give the data of geology okay so that data which I downloaded from UHS that I give as an input the clip feature will be my Indian boundary okay so all India states that I given wherever you want to save you can grieve a proper name and you can save this data sets there so suppose I will give uh, I will store this data in this particular locations where I am going to show you okay so I will save it here under this USGS so Indian geology so I already created one time but for you this demo I am going to show you again so I will make it two okay so simply give this name and then click on the run so once you run okay so you will see the output how it will extract it and how the informations will come out so you just see here so this is the way how we are actually going to extract the informations and you just see so many different types of data which it will going to show you over here so and this name codes which will get over this particular files okay so this will help you to understand which geological pattern is actually what okay and if you want to select some particular geological pattern suppose okay so uh, like this I, I just selected this particular pattern I don't know which one is this so I'm just simply click on the attribute okay and I will select click on this select tool so it will tell me this particular types is what okay so this is the one way of the selecting uh, this particular process like TKV geology this is a one way you can do the selections okay or you can go for the selection by attributes from here also okay where you can use the geology is equal to TKV so you just need to see wherever it is okay so accordingly you can uh, save it or you can select that particular file also so see here so whatever it is falling under this TKV file so all are actually selected that time I selected only one so that also you can observe how many are selected in this particular class so that you see out of 1200 there is 26 files are there which are falling in this particular group okay so like that you can select and if you want to create a new layer from this then simply right click on this go to the selections and make it a selection form of selected features okay so new uh, uh, things also it will come out okay so that uh, you can see over here if I just remove it from that okay so that is the thing name you can provide whatever name you want to provide so that you can name also you can provide it here so this is the process actually how we are going to extract this information from here so this is the one process another process is if you want to save this file because that is a temporary so if you want to save this file you can export it wherever you want okay so uh, you can save there also like tkv whatever this uh, you want it file is there so you can save there also as a feature class so that is a different process of extractions which i just showed you over here this both are actually same process but how we were actually extracting the informations in a different different way so that only i just showed you here so this is all about the usgs part so you can give this name as the property of this map you can give us a usgs geology okay so similarly now i'm going to open a new map okay from here and i will going to process now the bhukos data sets with 
the same technique over here the Vukos data is much more higher scale and it is for a small area the area which I don't know I just downloaded it so let's see find out that particular area over here in ArcGIS Pro so I can give a name of this as a Vukos so you can give a name see this is a Vukos data sets where you can download it this is Vukos B-H-U-K-O-S-H so from here you have login you can download this data okay so you understand this is a Vukos data set okay I again the forget the name B-H-U-K-O-S-H okay K-O-S K O S H Bukosh. Okay, so that is Bukosh GSI data. I give a name like this for this particular map. So let's open the Bukosh data which I already downloaded over here. So see here, this is the Bukosh data sets which I have here. So now I am going to download these particular data sets over here. Okay, so that I am going to download over. So now we will see how this we are going to process this Vukos data so you just see here I have this map we will going to add it here okay so Vukos data sets we are just simply adding it where I have this data so let's go to that particular folder so this is the data I have with me so for the lithological data I am simply click on ok so I don't know where is this location is but with the help of this map I can get that particular information this world topographical map informations if you want to uh, know what locations over that particular place better is you can use this terrain and level options so the level will come over your map ok the locational map so that you can understand each and location name see this Banswara ok so this is Kushalgar so like that you can identify the locations where it is actually belonging from now you want to do the same process you go in a lithology go to the official lithology select the symbology click over the unique values and the field suppose you want to see that is on the basis of lithological lithologic so select, select the select that and you see here or according to that all these things are actually selected over here okay so like that you can select that particular uh, data sets okay so now here also you can put a query and you can find out some particular patch like suppose basalt you want to see okay so here you have the tool same tool you can use that query attribute based query and here where the geologic lithologic is equal to you can give suppose the basalt okay simply click on ok and you just see the basalt area will select within a second so that's all from my side i hope you like this video so if you like this video please subscribe my channel okay and please give your suggestions how you like it and uh, if you want to see some uh, specific video please give me the request i will definitely try to make video on that thank you thank you very much and thank you very much for a lot of people's comments from around the world and uh, that is giving me a lot of motivations okay so please keep on your uh, give your comments and send me the mail also so whatever possible from my side definitely i will help you thank you thank you very much